Well, it's been a long time. It's the day after Christmas. My favorite cell is right there. But I wanted to work on this side. That's not what you'd like to see. My gut tells me there used to be another foundation right there, but I guess I won't be able to confirm that one none. Well was well was right there. Wow. Well, it's been a long time since I dug some targets. Man, they pulled bulldozing up the rock wall. I got a feeling that cellar will be gone soon. That's too bad. This is the, the Bigfoot cellar hole, and I don't see Bigfoot over there, so I think whoever owns him took him. But, we lost all our snow. It was uh, 50 a couple days ago, 60 yesterday. It's 30 right now. It's spitting snow a little bit. So hopefully the ground's thawed enough for me to get a shovel into, and... I'm going to give her hell and see what happens. If I can squeak out one more good target for 2020, I'd be happy camper. That's a bummer, though. Knew I should have got in there and worked it. But, anyway. Fire up the Equinox and get after her. Alright. Cellar's right up there next to my truck. These, uh, you can see these moss covered rocks and stuff. I believe this is where the barn was. And from right there, I got my first target. It's a big chunk of ox shoe. Kind of what you expect to find out the barn, I guess. Anyway, man, they chopped all this right up. Looks like they destroyed a big chunk of the rock wall. They got some logs laying on the rest of the rock wall that goes that way. But we're going to peter around in here for a bit and see what happens. Let's keep going. All right. Man, this rang up loud. And I just dug through a ton of freaking rock to get to it. But there's one for Ray. <laughs> uh, man, that sounded good. Oh well, good to be digging targets. It's been a long time. A lot of crap going on. But hopefully we're on the flip side. and Hopefully I can get a couple more days in before winter really sets back in. Let's hope. Anyway, back at it. And another one. Oh, back at it. All right, probably a clad quarter. I don't know, it looks bigger than that, but it came from right there, and I'm right next to the cellar. Oh, somebody's coming. I'll get back to you in a second. All right, I'm kind of excited, and I don't know why. But <laughs> it's bigger than a quarter. There is a left face and bust on this thing. So you can see the you can see a bow tie in the hair right there of it just at three o'clock just from center. But, that's the best I can come up with right now. It's, it's thin. 
I think it's reeded. And the back ain't giving up a whole lot. See, there's that bow tie right there. Back of the head. It's a bus facing left. I thought it was a Georgia second or something, but I think it's later than that. I don't know. I'll have to get a flashlight on it sideways and do a little research when I get home. But that's an old ass coin. It beeped uh, friggin' uh, 30. I was hoping it was a silver quarter. But, uh, and in that mess, I found broken glass from all ages. But, Look at that can right there. If there's a top like that, there's a pull tab around here somewhere. But, anyway, I don't have much time left. Um, good score. Glad to have it. I'll clean it up when I get home, and pretty sure I'll get an ID off it, and I'll throw a cleaned up picture at the end. Anyway, big copper. Alright, I just got that coin right there. And from right here, I get a huge freaking pewter spoon bowl. About the same size and shape as the other one I found that had the hallmark on it. John Yates, I want to say it was, or Bates. But, uh, I'll have to go back and look at it. Cool. That rang up a solid 19. She was down there with the freaking excavator. Tore this up and flipped it over. Now I'm finding targets here I never found before. It was just covered in bottle caps and pull tabs and but they pushed it all over there. So it's kind of like a sidewalk tear out at the solo hole. Anyway, keep going. Ain't got much time left. Alright, I have no idea what that thing is. It looks like it got beat pretty hard. It's a wedge of some type. <laughs> looks like the tip might be broken off. But I'm wondering if it's one of the wedges that they use to cut the granite. It's just freaking huge. I've seen smaller ones. They're only like three inches long and like a half inch thick. But I have no idea. I bet it weighs freaking three pounds. It's freaking heavy. Anyway, cool. Can't say I found one before. No, I can. <laughs> anyway, back at it. Well, no, this is pretty cool. From right there, you can see that little hole right there. I saw the bottom of a bottle. So I was like, ah, screw it. I'll check and see if it's whole. And I see the bottom of it. It looks like a freaking whiskey barrel. <laughs> or a root beer barrel or something. I don't think it's that old, but it, it doesn't have a screw top. <laughs> you can see the glass seam goes right to the lip but it's like a wide mouth it's probably inch and a quarter inch and a half wide on the inside I have no idea on the bottom it says 31 patent pending I don't know I'm taking that home with me that's pretty cool Interesting. Anyway, back at it. Alright. On this side of the solo, this is where I get all the buttons and whatnots. And true to form, I actually got it underneath that rock. It's probably uh, three inches thick. But, uh, it's an underwear button. Interesting. Couldn't figure out why that rock was beeping. Found the edge, flipped her over, and there it was. Anyway, back at it. Sky's getting dark. It's been spitting snow.
it's gonna be dark in a half hour 45 minutes but uh, let's keep giving our hell maybe I'll come back tomorrow if it ain't too cold it's supposed to get down to about 20 tonight so the ground's gonna be freezing back up again so gotta get it while I can I guess but anyway back at it all right doesn't show it on the phone but she's starting to get dark but I did manage a flat button 1800s anyway see if I can squeak one or two more targets out of here I'll get back to you all right it is turning into little ice pellets winds kicking up and she's getting cold but from right there thimble it's mushed but still pretty cool I think I'm going to wrap it up and get out of here go get some supper, go home and try to clean that coin up and I'll chalk this up as a successful trip maybe I'll come back tomorrow she ain't too cold or if it doesn't snow too much but anyway might be a while for my next one, but we'll catch you on the next adventure.